Hello, we are Geeks Assembled and we've gathered here for another cast and it's our Pride Month and we are talking about Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And there's Alex with his clap. Give your clap a wave, Alex. There you go. <laughs> He's our Hollywood director for this cast. And let's go to let's go to Alex and Susan's first since Lee's just rudely walked away. All right. Well, um, I enjoy this movie personally. I've loved this movie. This is my copy of it. It's a VHS copy, and I've I've really actually played it until like there's hardly anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who has a VHS it? these days? Um, uh, this is VHS. Wow. See, it's even like weathered, like the color, that's one side and that's all pink. That's yeah. sort of, you know. Pink. So I've, it's I've, both pink. It's pink on both sides. Right, right. But it's, yeah. one is dark and one, one is hot pink and one is, you know, really oh, right. pale pink. Yeah. Anyway, because of the, because it sat on my shelf and I love this movie so much, the, the stuff is worn away on the tape. It's like, you, you can't even see it anymore. It's just, like watching a snowstorm and so we ended up having to watch it on amazon prime because Your, yours might be worn lee's is just sticky uh-huh anyway um oh, i i love i love hugo weaving and terrence stamp and uh I, that's really all i have to say to start with here's alex uh, yeah, the acting is very good. Uh, my mother also likes this movie. I like Terrence Stamp. Um, any role that he's in from, what was he called in this one? Bernie Ralph, where he got mad if you called him Ralph. Yes. And when he was the original General Zod, Neil before Zod, oh, oh, oh. Um, he, he was wearing uh, baggy pants before MC Hammer made it uh, uh, popular. Uh, he's always good. I did like the setup here. It is a comedy movie. Um, they do the famous songs like I Will Survive and other famous songs. Um, I do like the writing. Is this, writing in this is very good. Uh, it is an oddball independent movie, but, you know, that's what it is and that's what it should be um like i said I, I pretty much terrence stamp makes makes this movie for me he, he's a great actor uh he always has been uh, they need to give him more credit and that's saying something because he is playing against type um so that's what that's my opening thoughts on the movie Look at me now, will I ever learn? I don't know how, but let's go to Lee and Hull. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, whoever, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? <laughs> whoever, whoever prepared a turn stamp to take this role, big thumbs up. Because as I say, it goes against what he's played before. Uh, he always used to play the leading man, the macho man, the the masculine sort of character. To play Bernadette or Ralph, um, ideal casting. He played it so well. Um, so Hugo Weaving, yeah, uh, I think I think this movie was the first movie I ever saw Hugo Weaving in. If, to be honest, I can't remember. Oh. If I saw any movie before that, Gar Pierce, yeah, I knew him from Neighbours. Um, uh, yeah, it's 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 a road trip. It's it's a, a road trip in drag. Um, with, with Priscilla, you know, Queen of the Desert. Um, what did he, what's the saying? Oh, oh, this is what they need. Is it cock in a flock on a rock? Um, brilliant, brilliant quote. Um, but yeah, it's 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 just about it's about friendship. It's about prejudice again. It's um. Uh, they, is it the, I think they go to the, is that a community where, is it Miners again? Miners? Or a community of this little town where it's prejudiced against that? Um, but it's about how they, these three bond. And it's also about Hugo Weaving's, Weaving's character about coming to terms with having a son. 
as well. He's sort of in denial about that, and he hasn't told anybody about that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good, good, uh, good. Was it an hour, uh, ninety minutes? It doesn't, it doesn't drag. But it's it's good. And the, That's ironic, isn't it? Yeah, it drag. It doesn't <laughs> drag. <laughs> <laughs> and Ali will agree with me. This is drag. No, I don't agree. It's not glam. No, yeah, you know, that, yeah, I do agree. Yeah, the, they are, these are three drag queens. What is drag? Not the RuPaul, RuPaul drag, which is total farce. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good it's good comedy. Um, also, you have um, Bill Hunter in there as Bob, who befriends Bernadette. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but um, he appeared in Doctor Who once. Mm-hmm. Little Bob in the uh, William Hartnell's story, The Ark. Oh yeah, such oh, a classic story that is. Oh my gosh, I just I just remembered. That's amazing. Thank you. Penny drop, penny drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was in. So he's not longer with us now. Is um, Bill Hunter, but uh, the other three remaining cast members are, uh, and they've gone on to bigger and better things. You know, Hugo Weaving, Lord of the Rings, um, Matrix, uh, Guy Pearce, L.A. Confidential, um, Iron Man, whatever it was. And Terrence Stamp was big back in the 1960s and always has been. He's, he's been a sort of a... And he, he was Chancellor Valorum in Star Wars, the, the prequel. Yeah, yeah but so he was always... Uh, he was always the say, leading man. He's always... Sexy leading man from the 1960s, far from the Madden crowd and all like that. And yeah. Brilliant really, really actor. Um, and if you ever get a chance to see the film The Limey, starring Terry Snoop, it's an awesome movie. Okay. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed this. Love it to you, Alid. Thank you. Lee, I agree with Lee that this is proper drag. Um, it's not glam drag. It's not like um you know drag that you see on rupaul's drag race which isn't my type of drag but just in case rupaul is watching i take all that back rupaul's drag race is amazing and i am available for series two of the uk version because honestly ever since i saw that ten hundred thousand pound Reward. I, I will take anything bad about what I've said about RuPaul's Drag Race back. But I, it's still not my drag. And I don't like it. <laughs> and, it and it's so this, fake. It's this, so is my, this is my drag. That's what I like. Yeah, this I've not heard that one. Burnings. Is that a series or what is that? It's a, it's a movie. Oh, it's a film. I've not watched that. It's a movie about Stonewall, about the '69 thing. But that's yeah. what that's what drag was like in '69 in the United States. Uh, is that a good film? Then I'll have to I'll have to give that a watch. Yes, please do. Yeah, it. definitely. Yeah, this one in Paris is burning, but I don't have my copy of Paris is burning anymore. I guess that one got lost somewhere along the way. But this this is yep. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I like I like Susan trying to make it really dramatic again. Uh, uh. <laughs> what Susan? What? <laughs> but um, I like this film. It's I've only seen it this once, and I watched it on Netflix. And Lee is correct. It's a road show. It's a typical plot for a yeah. for a road show film. It's it's no different to any other, but it, it's just with drag queens, and it shows the struggle of them, and it str- shows the struggle of the gay community, and I really like that Abba is in this, and I I like the Abba songs, and I, I wish the main character would stop dishing Abba. I love Abba. I love singing Abba. What have I told you? No. Fucking Abba. Yeah, and it's ridiculous. I don't like that about the film. You know, 
there should be ABBA songs throughout well, it from beginning to end. You and get, it, you get an ABBA song at the end. I yeah, I know, but there's just not enough. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> there's there's just there's just not enough ABBA. Well, you're gonna have to rectify that by like you know well, I'm I'm afraid I'm afraid we've got no choice but to refilm this whole film. Mm-hmm. As a group. Mm-hmm. Oh, now great. I've already come up with the roles. Oh dear. Alex is gonna have star in role. Oh dear. As Priscilla. Oh dear. What? So I'm the broken down boss. <laughs> 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 yeah, go on, go on. Who we'll, we'll the other people then? Go on. And um, Lee, you're not going to be in the film. You've not made the cut. I'm afraid. You, you, you've just not made the cut. I thought your audition was pretty poor. No, no enthusiasm off you, frankly. And uh, frankly, you're from Hull. <laughs> no, but I, I generally, I generally really like this film, even though the ABBA bits and the ABBA songs are, are just overtake anything else for me in this film. And it's just like with, you know. I don't want to bring it back to um, Mask, which I wasn't here for, but I did watch. There's only one thing I liked about Mask is when Cher sung. That, on that campfire was a nice bit. That was a we nice bit. Like of it. We knew it. We knew it. We knew it. All of us, we, we had it nailed. We, we told each other the same thing. Yeah. I, I liked it when they were around the campfire and Cher started singing and I was Ramping along and you know moving side to side because she, she just she's just a naturally brilliant singer. Yeah. Anyway, Cher's not in this movie. Let's get on with this movie. Yeah, but Abba is what I like about this film. Just on Abba at the end. Hey. Eh? Abba's only at the end. I know. So you're it just get mentioned a bit in the beginning. Life. No, no, no. It gets mentioned a bit in the beginning. Yeah, but it's not a lot. It might not be. That's what I'm telling you. That is what I'm telling you. There's it's, more. There's more to life than Abba and performing share. How dare you? Honestly, how dare you say that? Something well, okay. So he disgusting. says it because because there's he, he's always very immoral. This person. Hey, 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 Alad. He says it because there's always frozen. You just got to let it go. There you go. <laughs> And so, Frozen okay, Two. So let, let, let's. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait there, because you've you've got me on Frozen now. And Frozen Two is actually coming out this year, and I don't know if you've seen the trailer, but it is amazing. Yeah, we knew you th- say that too. So let let's just go on with what we don't know. We don't know we about don't... the outback. We don't know about this climbing. <laughs> oh, I, oh dear! I know a lot it's about the outback. Rock. Oh, very funny. Oh, very funny, you. <laughs> so, what was it? What was you going to say? <clears throat> Me? Yeah, you, you were going to say something. Oh, yeah. Well, it's uh, <clears throat> uh, there's some super amazing stuff in this one. You know, besides the I, when you were casting the movie, I was thinking, oh my gosh. Is he going to cast me as the the lady in the teddy, you know, with the ping pong balls? <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I was just like, when I when I saw that scene, I was like, say what? Anyway, like, there's some really weird stuff in this. You know, besides the, you know, the aboriginal thing and, and the... Yeah. I mean, doubt Bob's wife, you know, ex-wife now, <laughs> was uh, a trip. Yeah. Well, the the funny. It's thing no is- wonder he he ended up going out with 
Bernie afterward because she, Bernadette had some class. I know it was so funny that the the, the um, and I mean I hate to say it, but she was so vulgar that this tag yeah. on Bob's wife. I don't know, you know, and unfortunately, uh, you know, she was so rude and nasty and vulgar, and it's like, oh my god. You know, I love it when one of the characters says, how can we top that? I said, I really, I wouldn't want you to. <laughs> and, and, and the, the Guy Pierce one was just laughing and laughing and laughing. <laughs> he just thought it was so funny. All right, let's go back to Lee then. What are you going back to me for? What were you talking about? I don't know, I can't remember. Was right. it favourite moment, Susan? Because you oh. interrupted, I couldn't remember what no, we were no. talking about. Come on, go away. Hey. Oh, okay, go back please. to me. Oh, you All want right. to go back to you? All right, let's go back to Susan. No, I said go to Lee and then come back to me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> let's go to Lee. <laughs> there is some good things in it. I mean, yeah, the, the, the dance routine, when they're in full costume, out in the outback with the Aborigines. Abri yeah. Yeah, it's I do like that. Brilliant done, and then they get the Aborigines involved in it all. It's just brilliant. Um, Gap Pierce is um, oh, what's his character? Is it Felicia? Yeah, Felicia, Adam, um, an ob obnoxious drag queen. But you still feel you still feel for him when after he takes some pills and goes on into that little community and tries to chat with the workers. Yes, yeah. You do feel for him, and then you saw you see the bonding with Benedict and Adam there, uh, Felicia, when he's crying on the bed. That is a brilliant scene with Terence Stamp and Gap Piers. Um, and when they finally, finally make it to the top of the mountain, all in drag. Yeah, that's a good shot. That is a good yeah, shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, I agree with that. But, uh, yeah, Hugo Weaving's brilliant, Gap Piers, but for me, it's Terence Stamp. I mean, I would never have put him in a movie like this. Um, playing a transgender uh, drag queen, formerly known as Ralph, because um, it's not the sort of thing he plays. But he plays it so he's playing it so well and so straight. It's amazing the way he just wanders off into the outback on his own. You stay here, out the fans can help. Mm. You know, walking and walking, walking, and then he finds those the, the, those two people in the jeep, and all of a sudden they take him back, then they do a runner. When they see all the people, the other two in dragon. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, weren't they the couple with the dead rotting kangaroo in the in the back? In the back of the jeep, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's good. It's good. I mean, also as well, it's good that Hugo Evans' character was so afraid about his son and about <laughs> what he does and what he is. His son don't care. Well, I mean, for goodness sake, I mean, you know, he's just, he's just watching him perform. It's really not, you know, that bad. Yeah, but he didn't. He, <coughs> it's really not that racy either. Yeah, his son was, his son was, was spoken to it well before he turned up and in wherever it was, because he was brought up with his mother who was a, was a lesbian. Yeah. So he grew up with all that sad and, and, he, he shouldn't have had anything to worry about, but it was part of the story, and it worked so well. So, yeah, it's, I enjoyed it. And I said the soundtrack as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got to admit, if any of you lot came out as homosexuals, I don't think I'd have anything else to do with you again. Oh. I'm a host. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd disown you. I'd unfollow you from Facebook. I'd block you. I'd... Hello. I'm admitting that. Okay, can you unblock? Can you? No, right. Hey, and block you? No, can you block me? Oh, right. <laughs> 2019 Boston Pride Festival. When was that? Now, like recently, like this month. Now, there's only two people there. Yeah. Yep. A big festival then. Oh no, four, four. We got four people. Oh. <laughs> you don't want too many, dear. Do you? you don't want too many. We can go back to Susan now. I've, I said no a bit. It could spread, you know. It could. It could, it could spread. Yeah. You know? <laughs>
Let's go to Susan and Alex. Because yeah, Alex hasn't said a lot on this okay. film, and I really want to know Alex's opinion. Um, no, like I said, you know, I, I did like it. Um, I did like Terrence Stamp. I did like most of the songs. I mean, I, I knew... I knew when I first heard I Will Survive in 1978, I knew it was going to be one of those songs that was always going to be played. Always. There's some disco songs, they just, they do live forever. Whether you hate disco or not, which I love disco and funk and and soul. But, uh, you know, the minute, the first time I heard I Will Survive, it's, I said, it's, a it's a song that always, it's a song that always lasts. Like, Atomic Kitten songs, like uh, Eternal no. Flame. No, I, well, I don't know about Atomic Kitten. No, it's just that it's written so well. Can I just stop you? Atomic Kitten, that's rubbish. It, the Bangles had Eternal Flame in 1989. Yeah. I'm just it's testing you, Lee. Atomic Kitten ruined I, that. I'm just, yeah. Well, again, we're not talking about that kind of no, pop. We're they talking did about Eternal disco Flame. pop, okay? They, they did Eternal Flame. I think their version's better. I mean, uh, again, that, you know, there could have been other songs that they could have put, but uh, again, th this yeah, was another I agree with that. song. ABBA is also famous because their songs are lively and yep. energetic and fun. And, uh, you know. Alex said so. Just yeah. like me, lively, energetic, fun. Why are you all so blank? Why are you, <laughs> are you all so <laughs> silent? Don't everybody talk at once. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I get the message. I get the message. <laughs> the silence says it at all. Yeah, no. If the, only um, were this silent all the time, Lee. Yeah. Now I the like other thing about the uh, about the bus. Is. How um Priscilla, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're, oh, uh, you're the bus in our remake. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> did they did they not know that the bus was going to break down or or not? Well, you well, don't, of course the bus was always going to break down. You don't know when things are going to break down, do you? Yeah. No, but it always was. Yeah. yeah. It's in the script. And, and I mean, yeah. how many, how much money and how many things would they have to replace for that bus? Well, it doesn't really matter because these were, these were people who were being paid to go somewhere and do something. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And Bob really helped him out. Good mechanic, <laughs> you know. Good, uh, good boyfriend for Bern Bernadette. So yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. My favorite moment was when uh, was I really liked the part where they are climbing the hill, climbing the king's yep. mountain in drag. As queens, yeah, it just looks like brilliant, the, doesn't it? The photography. Yeah, I like the it, fact that they, they, they decided to wear sensible hiking boots instead of, you know, spiky heels. Yeah, I mean, I hate it when you see science fiction stories and the the protagonist women are running around the the foreign planets and in, in the rocks and things. And you can say Doctor Who; it's fine. You can say Doctor Who. All right, all right. It's <laughs> Doctor Who and yeah. And then spiky heels pissed me off because <clears throat> people don't do that and have ankles left. Anyway, uh, exactly. You couldn't cross. You couldn't walk up that hill with heels on, could you? Yeah, you couldn't. And no. the other thing that was, I, I like the the part where they're, they're doing this show for the Aborigines, and um, and the other the other part I like is the show in uh, in the 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 city where <clears throat> his son is or whatever. Yeah. I like that, that, that show. I like all the shows. Yes. I like the shows as well. And the sing and the songs. And, and, and I guess I like the bits in between where they're in the bus and, you know, or in the yeah, hotel the room. The bus, or, yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, taking the, the, the drinks out of the little, mini bar and replacing them with water or tea that was that was fun and um i don't know like the, I, I really like the whole stinking movie i like the bits at the beginning yeah 
yeah so so that's why my video that <laughs> has absolutely <laughs> no iron iron you know iron what iron shavings anymore at all that work so it's a mm. snowstorm always pissed Lee's, got it, Lee's got it on dvd i don't like that front cover really i think which one that one one you got it's too much text on it oh well, i'm sorry mind you susan's got the same text but i like i like you can see them in drag there look while they're at the top of the mountain I mean, yeah, that one, yeah. That to me, that looks a better front cover. And yeah, Ken Pierce has got some nice butt cheeks. Mm -hmm. mm. Trust you to notice that. Well, if he's flashing, no, no wonder your version's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man's at rated eighteen. Why is it rated 18 though? I don't think it's really an 18 film. Yeah, it's stupid. No. Yeah. Oh, you said 18. Because it's sticky, I don't know. 15. It's not 15 film. No. It's a 15 film. Yeah, don't, yeah, but it's not really a 15, is it? I think it's because of the language. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, but people hear kids hear worse these days, don't they? On YouTube. Yeah, but this is nineteen ninety four. Is it ninety four? I thought it was later than that. Nineteen ninety four, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and it's the first time I've watched it now, and really? yet I've heard so much about it, and I've never watched it, even though I do love drag queens. And have you have you seen the American kind of send up of it called Tu Wong Fu? Thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, we'll be doing that. We'll be doing that one soon. I know there's a uh, stage version because uh, Jason Donovan did it, didn't he? Or is he still doing? It? I don't know. Yeah. No, that was interesting. Wesley Snipes and uh, Patrick Swayze after being so after being so famous for being you know, and Dirty Dancing and Roadhouse and John Leguizamo. I mean, he did do some drag humor in his routines. But uh, playing against type with uh, Patrick Swayze and Wesley Snipes. And I did enjoy it when he was beating up that, that wife abuser. I did enjoy that. Um, sorry to say, I usually don't enjoy violence. But in that, <laughs> I, I I enjoy violence. And, and that in that case, when it involves one of the members of the cast. Yeah, in that case, it was warranted. Um, but again, I mean, here's another. You know, the other question too is again, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Or there's more to the book than the cover. At least there should be. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'd be very disappointed if I bought a book from a library, brought it back, and it was just the cover. <laughs> that would uh, suck. Yeah. That, or, or that, the, especially, even uh, if I even if I hadn't paid money for it, yeah. I'd be very disappointed. Or, or the dust what jacket, is as we well, like I'll to say. Yeah, the, the, the open dust it's jacket. Just the cover. Yeah. yeah. So. I thought that was somebody else's hand rubbing Alex. Then. No. Hey, hey, hey! Watch, right. it. <laughs> watch it. Well, it's because you were cut off like that. Yeah. yeah. Cut off like that. Yeah. It was like. So. Anyway, Sorry, I'm distracted. Um, yeah. So by I, your by your ma masculine arms, Alex. Anyhow, <laughs> moving on. Your um, muscular arms. Well. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> you can't help that you're the cutest one in the. You're class. looking. You're looking very. I'm cool. not saying you're anything very, like that at all. You're looking very cool and very sexy. Oh dear. <laughs> That's one thing. I can't oh dear. I'm I'm a humble person. I I, I I I don't like to talk about myself like that. Thank you. Um so anyway, was there any parts that we didn't like, which I'm sure everybody's gonna say no. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Truly. Yes. Okay. 
Um, um, <laughs> well, well, no, 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 go on, go on, go on. So did well, you like the whole film then, Alex? So you sound very... Um, did yeah, you like the whole I film? did. I did. Like I said, Tu Wong Fu has some moments as well, not as good as this, but I, if it was a tribute or an homage, they did a decent job. But they, they, they could have sung ABBA more. I mean, they kind of held off throughout the film. Yeah. Okay, is this a is this a concert movie? Leah's gonna and they're saying like no ABBA, and it's yeah. like no, I want ABBA. And it was I like, love the village people ABBA, too, but I don't want to hear all twenty songs right now. Alid, it's not an ABBA movie. Look, I I get that, I get that, but it's like Mask, where Cher's in it, and I expect to hear Cher. Sing. No, no, Mask is Cher acting. Yeah, but it's but what's the point of having Chef? She doesn't sing much. She's an actress and singer because she's got amazing acting talent. Yeah, yeah I know. But if you're going to have her, you might as well have her acting. Ooh. Well, you Ooh. can also buy the soundtrack as well, or buy the buy the DVD or whatever. You've got you've got two types of share, Alid. You've got the acting chair and you've got the performance chair. What you see in Mamma Mia Two is the performance chair. Yeah, and she's better in that film, in my opinion. Bollocks. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what we said last week. We we knew you'd say that, and we <laughs> and we disagreed with you, even though you weren't even there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch the cast. When's the cast? The cast should be up soon, shouldn't it? It's yeah. when I feel up. Okay. This <laughs> one. <laughs> well, I'm just going to set the record straight. Cher is better in Mamma Mia 2 than she is in Mask. I disagree. Oh, I disagree. And it's and well... I'm host, so my my opinion is the final say. Sorry, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences disagrees with you. Yeah, Mamma Mia, what oh. award did that get? Um, huh, I don't know. Mm. And what award did did Mask get? Oh, she got, yeah, she got... Um, Nominated. Yeah, awards mean nothing. They're nominated all nominated for an Academy yeah. Award. Am I not? Am I not right about that? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if this one, if this movie was made in the United States, you know, they would they would get awards for it from the same group. Are, are you sure that it would have been made in the United States? <laughs> it was. It was. No, I thought it was shot in, uh, in Australia. Uh, Australia. Yep. Yes, it was. Yeah. I mean, uh, Terence Stump did win an award for this film. Yeah. I mean, there, there's Norbit, there's the Rocky Horror Picture Show, there's the Birdcage with Jack and Jill, uh, there's Diary but, of but a the, Mad Black Woman. Uh, okay, know, most uh, of these are not are not true drag. They're just right. They're just a guy, you know, as a woman. Okay, some of them are, yeah. But I'm just saying, a couple of them. So but anyway. th- th- this is the type of drag. This is the type of drag. You see, this is different to say, Paul O'Grady's type of drag, oh. because. Well, yeah, Paul O'Grady's a comedian. He goes out there drag and tells jokes. Yeah. Yeah, but there's also there's also a difference. Is that the these are just them, in drag, they're just they're just themselves. Whereas, whereas Paul the O'Grady. Characters. The char- they're actually not Terrence Stamp and drag. It's it's Ralph and drag. Yeah. So Terrence Stamp has to play two characters. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but but Paul O'Grady, Lily Savage is just a character. She doesn't. She's not real. Well, th- this Paul O'Grady is not Lily Savage. Lily Savage is well, is different. It's it's mean, a heightened Paul O'Grady. Yeah. But it's still a different character Paul, to Paul O'Grady. Paul O'Grady is very different from Lily Savage. I'm sure, I'm sure, well, the the characters they do have character names for these people, like Bernadette. Yeah, I know that. You know, so I don't I don't understand what you're trying to say. Here. Okay, well, with all the maybe respect, I'll just explain it wrong. Okay, with all the respect, guys. <laughs> now, in English, because Monty Python was in drag, Jeeves and Worcester was in drag. They, they, there's been more history in England of men dressing up in drag either for a comedy skit. Oh, drag! Or, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. drag goes back way back. Where you think of um, yeah. the old yeah. the 
pantomimes and things like that. And no, I know. But when, when, I, yeah. when on stage, men would dress as old women, you know. No, and Shakespeare. Shakespeare ugly sisters. Yeah. Shakespeare had guy, guys, you know, pretending to be mm. girls. Unfortunately, yeah. in America, because of the Puritan thing and because of the other, you know, weird, there hasn't been that many movies in America up until recently that they showed a lot of, uh, you know, drag or, or such like. The first movie that I saw that was about drag was called Paris is Burning that I mentioned in the prior cast. Yeah. And, you know, this this is... You know, a sort of a, a an elegant drag. It's elegant drag, but it's still like a story about these three characters. You know, not not the actors in drag, but the characters in drag. Mm. That's the difference between this and Paulo Grady. You know, Lily. Yeah. Well, the 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 Hugo Weaving character. Say he was playing two parts. He was playing Anthony as the male character and his drag character was called Mitzi Del Bra. Yeah. Yeah. Same as Guy Pierce. His name was Adam. Yeah, yeah I know that. Yeah. He, he was Felicia Jolly Goodfellow. So I love drag names I mean, too. I must say. You love what? Drag race. Drag names. Oh drag names. Yeah. I mean they they are outrageous. What's yeah, I do like I do, yeah, but you see, look, look at Lily Savage. Lily Savage is not an outrageous track name. Oh yeah, it is Savage. No, no, no. But do you know why he why he called her Lily Savage? No idea. Because his granddad was called Savage. Okay. His grand Savage his, the name can also name. mean like the cattiness of drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it actually isn't. It actually but was it actually his granddad's is, name. But it actually isn't. Yeah, so no, but it, I mean, so as Alex would say all the time, it is, but it isn't. Yeah, but it's actual because he did, um, he did, um, I think he did like, um, who do you think you are? And he was searching his granddad's history, and it said his his granddad was, you know, Mister Savage. And then I thought, and that's when I knew that that's the only time I realized then. Oh my God, that's where he got the name from because he's Paul O'Grady's, but his granddad is Savage. I just thought, that's where he's just got Lily Savage. Well, that's just a step back moment in it and go, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, I always thought Savage was, he called her because she was obviously Savage. Yeah, because she was sort of, you know, bitchy. But then you have that other connection of, well, you right. know. But I mean, like, you don't get name. your name from you know. wherever. But if, if you become your name, that's drag, right? What happened then? Everything froze. All right, well. Like I'm saying, you can always, you know, have your, your name and and then have it, like, come from somewhere. But if you live up to your name, you know, that's... Oh, definitely, it. yeah. I mean, I remember, because Lily Savage used to do, which one used to be one of my favorite shows as a kid, um, was Blankety Blank in about, what is it, 96, something like that. And I remember watching blankety blank and watching lily savage and thinking because i didn't know mom and dad never never said anything um i used to think is that a man or a woman <laughs> drag is confusing <laughs> yeah but i was only a kid at this time but i used to love it and i used to laugh at everything because i i just love i've always loved lily savage lily savage is one of my favorites really one of my favorite drag queens and I, I think i think the the another one i like is dame edna i think dame edna is fantastic yeah. uh, i know people can have their opinions on barry humphreys the man who plays dame edna but dame edna is a comedy genius yep and she's absolutely hilarious and she's doing a new show on bbc one which i'm really looking forward to but the other drag queen that i do like today and I've got to give props to um, Drag Race because drag, waste, drag Race does have some good drag queens in it. No and kidding. Bianca Del Rio, if you heard of Bianca Del Rio, yeah. um, she, she's pretty amazing. She's pretty funny. She can be um, a little bit un-PC, if you know what I mean. She's a bit, 
she can say what she thinks and she yeah. doesn't mind if she offends people but most of the time she's hilarious so like bianca jagger she can have a huge bite right yeah oh she's quite savage she's living up to her name for sure yeah she is quite fierce you you wouldn't want to go up against her i tell you no you'd end up in the shade you'd end up like you yes know, she'd eating kick you to the dark. dark side of the she'd kick you to the dark side of the moon that's right yeah so i you know i love drag anyway i think drags i think drag is amazing i think drag queens are amazing i think you know I like drag queens because you can be somebody different, but you're entertaining people. Yeah. It's about entertaining people. And yes, but you, it, you're meant you're, to look... You're doing a show. But, yeah, you're meant to look silly. But then there's always, like, executive drag. People yeah. who, who go, you know, to work in drag. You know, work a nine-to-five in drag. There's that kind of drag, too. And in the United States, there's a lot of people who have to work a very conservative thing in drag. Hmm. And I, I really appreciate all the nuances of drag. I think that, that people, you know, who have bent their gender all over the map are amazing. Well, again, yeah. you know, sadly in America, uh, there was that American show, even though it's considered horrible, bosom buddies but that was them dressing as women to, to try to pretend to live in a uh, 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 a woman's uh, hotel um, it has changed I mean Tootsie was famous because that was one of the American you know movies that they actually had you know Dustin Hoffman in his uh, you know in his uh, character his female character for more than five minutes so I mean it is it has become more acceptable, and even RuPaul, even though that's only part of his name, has gotten a uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in California. Oh yeah, I mean, at the moment, drag's massive. I mean, it's it's you know it it took a bit of a dip, it took a bit of a lull, and in the UK, it took a lull as well. But it, it's starting to come back because you know, obviously. Uh, Lily Savage and stuff, Paul O'Grady, he's not going to bring Lily Savage back. So you, drag queens really in the UK disappeared, especially UK drag queens. Um, but hopefully now they'll start to make a comeback because we need drag queens on TV and I am available. Never. <laughs> we do need drag queens on TV. I think drag queens are hilarious. And I think drag queens often say, Truth and truth can be funny, um, and and hard because a lot of people don't like to hear the truth or don't like to admit the truth, um, especially about Brexit. So I think definitely a drag queen that goes on Brexit um, could be very popular because people like truth, yep. and the truth is Brexit shit. All right, well let's get back to talking about Priscilla. Oh, 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 is that what we came for? What more do you want to say about it, Susan, before we wrap this up? Um, well, okay. I'm getting really thirsty. <clears throat> I, I love how it also incorporated so much of the beautiful, like, scenery of the outback, or yeah. not the outback, but that desert. The desert, yeah. It was amazing. I mean, it like it is a good road trip flick, like like Lee had said. I'm always right. Well, apart from when he's not. Yep. There we go. Yeah, is that it? No, is that Alex is going to speak, and he Alex is going to. Well, Alex, give your final say and score. Uh, well, like I said, because of Terrence Stamp and the soundtrack, I'm going to give this an eight. Um, like I said, mm -hmm. my mother likes it a little better, uh, but she's not here. And again, um, 
again, as we just talked about the difference between American culture and subculture versus uh, it is more acceptable in England to have a you know a man dressed as a woman. Uh, but again, those two movies, Victor Victoria, where Julie Andrews dressed as a man, and Dustin Hoffman and Tootsie dressing as a woman, uh, those still are very big hits and and very uh, controversial. Of course, that was the '80s, but. Uh, the only other person that's done it regularly is either RuPaul or uh, Tyler Perry to uh, illustrate his point about modern African-American plays. And because I love this cover to cover, first scene to last, I'll give it a 10. Wow. 10 sparkly uh, veils. Ten gold lame, silver lame flags out of ten. Right, Susan's given it a ten. Alex has given it an eight. What's Lee going to give it with his little Mickey Mouse pen? Um, it's an enjoyable movie. It's uh, you know the action is brilliant in it. The scene is brilliant. Um, I'm not going to give it a ten though. No. Um, so the soundtrack's all right. Um, uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Yeah, that's a fair score. Mm. I mean, I don't, this isn't as good as... I didn't enjoy this as the last... as much as the last film we watched. Um, it's. I don't feel like it's got the same level of humour myself. It's not particularly my humour for most of it. But I like again. I know, I know they're gonna go. Oh, it's all about Abba. Yeah, but I like the Abba song. Okay, at the end. Oh, what would what would it have been like without the Abba? Not good. <gasps> not 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 good. If it was without the Abba, I would say probably a five. But. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you effing serious? Yeah, about a five about the other. We talked at, at great length about, you know, the wonderful world of drag, that you would give it a five? Just because of a song? I'm not, yeah, I, don't, I don't believe you. I, no, I no, no, but you said, you said without the Abba song. Right? Yeah. Which the well, Abba song has to mean more. I'm Abba sorry. Song. No, 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 no. The Abba song has to mean more. Do you know what? <laughs> You're turning into a Brian. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh, no, for, for instance, uh, that's the other question that we really didn't talk about is a lot of these disco songs, especially late era, you know, almost. I will survive. Disco, I will survive. The the almost the end of disco. Uh, some of these songs were not originally, you know, for the audience. They became adopted. Yeah, yeah, uh, totally. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Village yeah. people always was, but not Gloria Gaynor wasn't always. Of course, she she is now. <laughs> but when she wrote the song, it wasn't for you know. It was for downtrodden right, women. Right, it's downtrodden women. Right. So, well, it's the same of it's the same of Abba. Abba didn't write their songs to be. <laughs> no, but I mean, and and again, they wrote their songs. Yeah, them. and I don't, I don't mean for that to be, you know, taken in a bad context. But like the other problem is with it is he's being homophobic with with you know, <laughs> with commercials like the the song I never liked the All Star song from the last ten or twenty years. You know the "Hey Now You're an All Star." And oh, the Shrek got, song, yeah. That that hey got now, to be. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> it got to be played in like 20 different commercials. Okay, but that you know? isn't even. So, oh my God! No, I know. Well, uh, can I just remind the viewers that this is a Miley Cyrus fan oh, talking? No, please, please. Miley no, Cyrus. You are a Miley Cy Cyrus fan. No. Oh no, you like Hannah Montana, didn't you? No. No, she is Hannah Montana. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, dear. oh no, 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 that's it. It's not. It's the other one. What's her name? Yeah. Aliana Grande. Okay, yeah. He likes Aliana Grande. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, again, that that's the other that's the other cultural. Uh, that's his taste in music. I have, I have, no, not all of it. I like a lot of classic rock. Yeah. I mean, for instance, you know, since the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, there's been a lot of uh, oh, commercials that, that, that have cool. that have taken uh, "Don't Stop Me Now" or, yeah. or uh, other me. other Queen songs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but Abba didn't write their songs specifically to be gay anthems. Right. Well, anybody can enjoy ABBA. You don't have to be gay to enjoy they were, ABBA. They were songs of the of the time. They were the eagle. Yeah. They were the, you know, thank you for the, the dancing music. queen. Had, you had everything. Can, you can just okay, have in time of your life. But the the important thing is, oh, oh there goes Lee. Mm-hmm. He's going to put some ABBA on. Yeah, nice. And dance around the room. Um. I mean, for instance, it's white dressing gown. Like some Rolling Stone songs too. There he is. He's going. He's yeah. going. Just like some Rolling Stone songs as well. I mean, did they ever think that that they were going to be, you know, played for a lot of commercials? Especially that you can't always get what you want in a commercial. Yeah. I mean, does that make any sense can't at all? Always get what you want. To play that in a car commercial or whatever. But what has that got to do with a yeah. cook in the desert in drag? I know. Mama at Waterloo, Napoleon did this tr- this this bus is broken down. It's gone off the road. Feel like I win it's, when I lose. It's deep in the sand. It's. Do you know what? I was uptown today. I was uptown today. Why didn't you stand there? There was a man playing ABBA on the piano. It's all and it was the winner takes it all. I don't want to talk. So, <laughs> so Lee is gonna Lee is gonna burn a debt you here before too long. <clears throat> <laughs> right. Well, let's just say thank you for the music. Oh, God. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> it's no wonder these cast bringing me out in pals. Oh, okay. Then we're going grey. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to give the film. So I said without the ABBA song, okay? I know everybody's going to shoot me down again about the ABBA song. It's five. But, but the ABBA song is so important to this film that for that, it's going to get a six. You know what? He's totally missed the meaning of this movie. He totally- <laughs> well, and, and, he, and he's lied to me at great length about his desire to, to like enjoy drag, enjoy the beauty of it. I, I feel like a six is such a slap in the face of this of this story about drag and its beauty in the desert. I, I look look. I don't like all this drag stuff. Okay. <laughs> a move. Men dressing up as women is are you, morally are wrong. You, <laughs> are you running out of oxygen in your in your room there? I wish you were. God, no wonder he's he's completely lost his mind. Ah, <laughs> Lee will be all right. Sadly. Now, I'm going to give this film, I'm going to give this film an eight. Hold on a minute, what happened to the six? He was just well, beating me up. He was literally <laughs> just beating me up. Susan, Susan, you should know me by now. No, don't we just. So I'm going to leave it with a four. I would like to thank everybody here for watching. I'd like to thank everybody here for joining me. I'd like to thank Abba for the music. Thank you for the music. The songs we're singing. Thanks for all the thank joy you, that brings. Thank you for the beautiful drag. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the beautiful drag. Yes, thank you, everybody, for the beautiful drag. Thank you, Lily Savage. Thank you, um, Dame Edna. And um, thank, you, thank you, thank you, Danny. I was just about to say Danny LaRue. 
Thank you, thank you, Darcel sixteen. Thank you, Maxi Star. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, old, old Brother Riley. Little Star, thank you, the Star family. Thank you, Darcel family. Thank you to all we the. We could be here a long time yet, folks. And all the queens in in Seattle, Washington, and all the queens and kings in San Francisco, like Charlie. Yep, I, I miss Charlie a lot. He used to do great Phil Collins. Really cool. Anyway. And thank you, RuPaul. Thank you, RuPaul. And thank you, Drag Race, as well. No, 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 thanks. No thanks from me. Yeah, really. And uh, all the members of Geeks Assembled are prepared and ready to appear on Drag Race. No, no. no. Especially Alex. No, sorry. <laughs> anyway. But I would ask what everybody's drag name would be, but we've got to go now because it's getting pretty late. We've been here for like sixteen three days now. I don't understand. We're just locked in this room until we finish the cast. One hour, one hour twenty minute cast. Our long, this one. Long haul. Oh, we've got. All right then. Well, thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Look after yourself. Take care, and we will see you next time. Abba, I love you. Okay. <laughs>